Welcome to the next step in your journey to a good night's sleep. In this video, we're going to guide you on how to set up and begin using your positive airway pressure or PAP therapy. To get started, unpack all of the items from the bag. You should have the AirSense 11 device itself, the power supply, tubing, extra filter, and mask. You'll also find the user manual. Keep this in a safe place for later use. Place the device on a flat surface and connect the power adapter to the DC inlet of the main device. Connect the power cord to the power adapter and plug the power cord into the power outlet. If you look at the back of the machine, you'll see where the filter is located. There should be a filter already in place. To open this door, simply place your thumb on the tab of the door and pull down. To close, line the door back up against the device and it will snap back into place. Also on the back of the machine is where the tubing will connect. Take the tubing and connect one end to the assembled mask. Both sides of the tubing are the same size. Connect the other end of the tubing to the air outlet of the device. On the right side of the front of the machine is the humidifier. To remove the humidifier chamber, place your thumb on top and fingers on the bottom of this part of the unit. Squeeze down and slide out. Once the chamber is out, you will see a tab on the top right of the chamber. Pull up on the tab to open the water chamber, then fill it with distilled water. Use distilled water only, as tap or drinking water contain mineral deposits that can harm your device. Be sure not to overfill the water chamber. There is a fill line that you should not go over. Do not travel with water in the chamber, as this can cause water to go into the machine and cause damage. Once the chamber is filled, you can close the lid and slide the chamber back into the device. Now that we've gone through the initial setup process for your PAP device, we can begin to learn more about the usage and settings. To adjust your humidifier settings, turn on the device and press the home icon on the screen. Tap on the My Options tab then on humidity level. Your options are off or levels one through eight, with one being the lowest and eight the highest. If you do not have water in the chamber, then the humidifier should be set to off. In the morning, if there are just a few water droplets in the tubing, this means the humidifier is set appropriately. If there are a lot of condensed water drops inside the tubing and or mask, it means that the humidifier is too high and should be set lower. Nasal dryness means the humidifier level is too low. The button on the top of the device is the power button. This turns the PAP on and off manually. The screen on the front of the machine is a touch screen. Here, you should see a My Options tab, My Sleep View, and a More tab. If you tap the My Options tab, it will bring you into another menu. In this menu, there are different options to change settings like ramp time, humidity level, and mask setting. If you tap on the sleep view tab, you will see your usage and mask fit from the previous night or session you last wore the device. The more tab is where you can choose to have the humidifier warm up or preheat before you use the machine. It usually takes 30 minutes to warm up. Here, you can also run a mask fit test. Now that you've set up your machine and learned about the settings, it's time to integrate it into comfortable everyday use. This will take a little getting used to, but will greatly help your journey to better sleep and overall quality of life. Starting tonight, begin to ease into a habit of regular use. This is the best way to get the most out of your therapy and keep you on track to better sleep. Over the next few months, your sleep coach will contact you every few weeks to ensure you are adhering to your therapy plan and address any questions or concerns. It's important to schedule a regular time to clean your equipment so that it becomes part of your normal routine. Each morning, remove the mask and wipe it with a damp cloth. Empty the remaining water from the humidifier chamber, then rinse it out and place it back into the unit. It is very important to not leave standing water in the humidifier chamber. This can cause bacteria to grow inside of the chamber. 
Once a week, you'll need to clean the humidifier chamber and tubing. Remove these items from the unit and wash with a mild detergent and warm water, then rinse well. It is best to do this in the morning to allow enough time to air dry before you use it again at night. The filter on the back of the machine is disposable and can be replaced every two weeks. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can call the ViMed Sleep Coaching Center, available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time at 844-475-7277 or visit us on the web at vimed.com sleep.